Okay, in this video, we are going to look at uh, Compliance Calibrator, which is a tool which was bought by SAP. The main difference between the Compliance Calibrator 4.0 and the new version of GRC 5.3 is mainly uh, 5.3 is called a Risk Analysis and Remediation RIR and it's a web based tool, whereas Compliance Calibrator 4.0, which is also a GRC tool, it's, uh, it's a very old version above based tool. But the fundamental concepts on the screens are this, mostly the same. So here we are into the tool. So this is the main screen of uh, Compliance Calibrator or basically an RAR, new RAR. So you can do analysis on user based or role based. You can do analysis on SOD at the authorization transaction level or SOD at the authorization object level or, or critical transactions. You can also exclude some of the user types also and include some of the users okay so now we are going to just run a sample analysis on a role uh, so we just run execute let's go back so i'm going to run the trans at the uh, transaction code level so i'm going to go to execute so this is the report we are getting so if you go to summary level report so it's basically telling me i have transaction fk fk01 and f-41 so when create a enter a vendor credit memo and also create a vendor. So the risk is basically create fictitious vendor and initiate payment to the vendor. Okay. So this is at the transaction code level. But this is basically a false positive. So we know from our security experience that uh, transaction by itself cannot execute. So they will need the authorization objects, underlying authorization objects to execute the transaction completely. So what we are going to do is we are going to run the same thing at the authorization object level. So when we execute, we are getting the same results. But the only difference is if you click on detail report, you will see this, this risk for it to execute does need FK01 and F-41. But it also needs create and some other account type access to fully execute this risk so so that what it means is without this authorization objects this risk will not be executed so we can also do one more thing let's say for example we want to simulate what is going to happen if we add some other transaction to the role we can also do that so we click on simulate and then we click the transaction we want to add and then we say risk from simulation only and then execute so now it gives clearly a picture of what is going to happen by adding this transaction and it highlights for us what are the new uh, objects which are go new risks which are going to be introduced into this uh, role by just adding one transaction 